Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2021 Christmas Clean and Decorate with me. So we're going to split this into three parts. In today's video you're going to see me put decorating my Christmas tree and doing a garland in my front room and things like that. So I hope you're all excited. Let me know in the comments when you are going to be putting your tree up. I hope this video gives you lots of inspiration for decorating your Christmas tree or decorating your garland or living room. And in the other parts, we're going to be decorating my hallway, my kitchen. I've got another tree this year and the kids' bedrooms and, of course, outside. So I hope you're really excited. So let's get stuck in. The first thing I do before I decorate any room is give it a quick clean. So hopefully this also gives you cleaning motivation and inspiration for decorating your house for Christmas this year. So I was going to try and do a really quick clean and then I realised under my sofa is a joke. Um, that's Harrison's seat, just letting you know. And there was a lot of wrappers under there so I thought I'd better give it a good clean because I do like to have it really fresh before I decorate because you know all the glitter comes out and all of that so it gets messy anyway. So you kind of don't want to do like deep cleans like this constantly when you've got decorations around so I do like to give it a deep clean. But in today's video I kind of did it more quick because I was actually putting my Christmas tree up on this day. I also say this every year but I do not know why I bother hoovering before I put my tree up because you know I'm going to get snow everywhere, glitter everywhere and I'm going to have to redo it but I just feel like I need to get up the dust. I don't sound silly but I need to start afresh with a clean floor <laughs> so it's probably wasted effort but at least I tried. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. Making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars Are shining just for you Let's take a walk And 
we can follow the moon like till we reach a place we can stay maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire cause all i want is to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with So now it's time to put the lights on the tree and one day I'm going to get a pre-lit tree because this is like a long job. It's the boring job that the kids sort of run away from and don't help me with. I have to do that on my own. Um, I don't blame them because it's not the most exciting job and you have to check if they work and I had a bit of a scare this year because I actually thought that my lights didn't work but they were not plugged in right so they were absolutely fine in the end. Um, and I did leave the lights on whilst I put the ribbon on when I first did it but you will see me putting the ribbon on properly so you know exactly how to do that in the next bit so it might look a bit funny but that's just because I left the lights on which I didn't mean to do Okay, so I'm changing up my ribbon style this year on my tree. I've decided to go for a white glittery, and I mean really white, rather than the see-through one that I used last year. I've still got that on my tree, but it's not my main focus. I've got the white as the main focus. At the moment, it looks like toilet roll, but I promise you'll see it doesn't look like toilet roll in a minute. Um, but yeah, I just literally, this isn't like wired or anything either, and it was actually quite easy to use. I just wrapped it like I did with the last one, got the um, twigs, is it the twigs? The branches, sorry, and tightened them around each bit once I got them in the position. And yeah, it was quite easy actually, and you could do this with any material. You don't, it doesn't need to be wired. Wired does make it easier and less faff, but this works just as well. And it was about £3.89 for a roll, and I used two rolls of these on the tree, and then I used the excess of my other stuff that I had from last year. I'll leave it all linked below anyway, but yeah, it's very easy to do and it fills the tree up nicely. So now on to decorating the tree, like filling it up with stuff. It now got dark because I started this midday, big mistake. But as you know from last year, and if you don't know, if you are new, I like to put big things on my tree because my tree is quite old. It wasn't the best tree when I first bought it, so it's got lots of spaces. And the best thing I'd say to be budget friendly, I said it last year as well, is to fill your tree up with big things like ribbon and big ornaments and then filling up the in-betweens with little ornaments. This will just cost less in the long run. It fills the tree up so it looks like it's not, you know, really old. Um, I'm probably doing a new tree, but it's a little hack basically if you want to have a full tree but you don't want to go and buy a new tree. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the 
the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Now moving on to the garland for my TV unit, I'm decorating it a little bit different this year because I'm adding some deco mesh. I'll leave the one that I have linked below, it's the one I used throughout my entire tree last year but this year I've used a mixture on my tree of the deco mesh and the other material to make it look a little bit different. So yeah I really loved how this actually turned out and I'm considering doing it in my other garlands up my stairs and stuff to make it look a little bit more full, a little bit more decorated and just a little different so then I feel like I've got completely new decorations this year without actually buying too many new things if this makes any sense. So yeah I really loved the way this turned out and it goes in with my theme of my winter wonderland in my front room because you know I love doing that in my living room. he's thinking when he rather spend his Christmas all the day with someone else I guess he stopped thinking about me yeah yeah I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night all day to celebrate Christmas with me but he's not here and I'm not there I don't know what he want now, but I don't care, yeah. Oh, 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 ringing my bells no more. Oh, 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 he miss out on love and that's for sure. Oh, 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 Okay, so here's a little Christmas decoration DIY hack, if you like. I have got just a box that I got a delivery in and I got some white craft paper out of Hobbycraft, some ribbon I already had and I made a present, a fake present in all my decoration style which I absolutely loved just from basically trash. I've used again here empty um, cat food boxes to make some more presents to go along with it and do you know what, I obviously bought the paper but I'm going to use that wrapping paper for other presents throughout the year and the same with the things, but it's actually a really, really cheap way of making a really nice decoration for under the tree without having to go and spend quite a lot of money. Because by the way, have you seen where, how much they are charging for a fake present? So you can make them yourself, just get some nice wrapping paper, whatever you like. I like white, it looks a bit more expensive, and yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, 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 you miss out on love, and that's for sure.
for sure. So that is the end of part one of my Christmas clean and decorate for 2021. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you've got any inspiration from it, I hope you did. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not already so that you don't miss out on part two. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next one.